Okay, this is a January picked up for 120 bucks. Uh, came with some uh, hardware, and the ignition wasn't working. The original uh, ignition coil off the magnet for the flywheel was bad, so we had to make something work. So we bought a coil for Kohler for a two-cylinder, and we hooked it up to the points, bypassing the original coil. We paid $120 for that piece, and uh, we had the carburetor, we have the propane venturi, and we have the vacuum operated valve for the propane and we also came with the propane fuel shutoff. This all that all came with the generator. We paid 120 bucks for it and then the coil was another like 100 130 or so. And uh most of the hardware we had just lying around, just had to buy a few odds and ends. We put the box on it for our power output. That's for our 220 we can plug into our house. So for now, we have it hooked up to a boat can for gasoline with a quick connect, which we can always take off. We have a primer button here, and we have our fuel shutoff valve in the carburetor. So we'll open this up. Now that the valve is open, we can prime it. Okay, now it's primed. We'll turn the choke on, and we'll turn it over. It's running on gasoline. There's no pressure in that right now. We're running slowly on gasoline on the carburetor. We idle it down, I drive it up. Now we're running out of fuel. Drop that off. So we can disconnect this. And just let it run right out of fuel. Okay, it's now just about ready to run out of fuel. Shouldn't take long now. Okay, it's, the carburetor is now out of fuel and we're unhooked. We'll turn it over a little bit more to make sure it's empty. Okay, now we'll hook up the propane. Now the all we have to do is open this valve here, and we have pressure. Then that hooks up to a regulator, which puts out about 1 to 2 PSI. So then it goes into our valve, which is hooked up to the ignition. And uh, so we have the positive going to the ignition, and then running off of that, we have the power run to the solenoid. So the fuel is shut off when the ignition is off. So when we go to turn it over, the ignition comes on and the fuel module, or the, this solenoid opens, allowing fuel to come up this line into our vacuum operated valve. And there's an adjustment on this valve uh, to adjust the vacuum pressure to open or close it. If this valve is open too much or not enough, we won't get the starting pressure fuel mixture right. So this is more or less our low speed adjustment for our propane. And then this is our high speed adjustment. You adjust that to adjust the high speed propane inlet and that goes into a venturi which goes into the intake. So once we go to turn it over, it'll open up the propane. There we go. Just got some gas residue in there. There we go. Now we're running on propane. We'll idle down. Close the valve and you'll see how the motor will shut right off once it runs out of propane. There you have it. Run on gas or propane. And that's 5,000 watts. We have our 220 or 240 hookup that goes into our house. 5,000 watts.